no population on the planet is as water distressed as the Indian population. You have seventeen percent of the world's population and about three point five percent of the world's water resources. On an average, forty percent decline has happened in all the rivers in the last fifty years' time. So the Ralifer rivers, one thing it changed in the country is, whenever you talked about water augmentation, people talked about check dams, people talked about variety of river linking, doing this, doing that. Now we've changed the conversation in the country in the last three years, everybody is today talking about vegetation. If river water has to be augmented, it can be enhanced only by increasing vegetation. You gave a missed call, for that one simple act we bow down to you because we moved the governments because 162 million people gave that missed call. In a democratic nation, if people are not behind something, those things will not happen. When the government saw the people are behind it, they immediately took it up in right earnest and it has become an official recommendation for all the states. For you to give some picture of what it means is, no movement ever in the history of this planet or history of humanity has ever got the support of 162 million people in thirty days' time. <laughs> Few states have gone proactive and we have MOUs with six states, including Maharashtra, Karnataka, Assam, Chhattisgarh, Punjab and Gujarat, for which uh, on-ground work we are doing in terms of surveys and preparing detailed reports. We have uh, right now one project on our hands in Yavatmal in Maharashtra, which was unfortunately known as the suicide capital of India, where maximum number of farmer suicides happened. Yavatmal region, where there is a Vagari river, we have taken up this fifty-four kilometer length of this tributary, which covers about uh, 285 square kilometers of river basin. Now we have a government-sanctioned project with a budget of over uh, 400 crores. Right now as a first phase, the implementation will start after this monsoon. Our first objective is the suicides must stop. In a matter of three to four months or maximum six months, every one of these families will have a, a phone number that they can call in moments of distress and we will act. Apart from that, we will… we are… we are changing the landscape by largely bringing about horticulture and agroforestry in the region, which will greatly augment the farmer's income and also in about ten to twelve years' time, the Vagari River should be in a much better condition than the way it is right now. So this project is already on the ground. We took the various existing schemes in the government, consolidated this and made this into a river project, which is both economy and ecology. This is the significance of Rally for Rivers. Basic significance of Rally for Rivers is this, ecology is not against the economic well-being of the people. Economy and ecology have to go in ha hand in hand. How to do our economics in an ecologically sensitive way, this is the important thing. When I was speaking at the UN, I said, I want to officiate the marriage of economy and ecology. Only then, we will produce something significant. As a part of this, we launched Decade of Action on March 22nd in United Nations and we are also part of the UNEP World Environment Day. If we don't do the right things now, it'll be too late. Just think of these numbers. India has 160 million hectares of arable land. Of this, 104 million hectares of arable land is under distress, soil distress. This has been our greatest achievement in this country. No matter what happens, our farmer has been growing food for us. Never 
In the last seventy years, have we had we had a famine? This ability, we are taking it away simply because we are literally putting the… you know, pulling the carpet from underneath because we are taking away the soil. We are taking ab away the strength of soil. Soil decides almost everything about us, particularly the water is determined by what kind of soil you have, how rich the soil is. And uh, people are talking about carbon sequestering and this and that and whatever. For everything, vegetation is the answer. Every kind, it's not only about trees. Variety of vegetation is necessary for the rivers to flow. I thought before we fall dead, we must make this happen. What do you think? <laughs>